Okay. Colorado's ski slopes were packed this holiday weekend, but tourism isn't booming the way it was last season. Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary takes us to Breckenridge. MLK weekend is typically one of the biggest weekends for ski resort communities. And while things on the mountain here appear to be very busy, lodging numbers in Breckenridge tell a different story. Hello. Taking a ski trip has never been cheap, and this year, it's no different. Do you know how much individual tickets cost right now? 209. 209. I guessed 180, and I guess I was way off. Luckily, Scott and Dan have season passes. 209 is absurd. Yeah. It's getting a little ridiculous. The price may be high, but the experience? The lines looked big, but they had them spread out. So optically, it looked like there was a lot of people here, but in essence, there really wasn't. But it's Sunday at Breckenridge on MLK weekend, and Dan and Scott changed their tune when they saw the lift lines. We just literally got out to the slope, and this is kind of ridiculous. It's a lot of folks. Did he see you yesterday? Yeah, late in the afternoon, though, so I waited for the crowds to die down, but it was nothing like this. We've got kids up there somewhere, so we should probably go find them and wait it out and see if the, the crowds go away here in a bit. Resorts like Steamboat were hoping its high ticket prices, over 200 right now, would help keep crowds smaller. It's clear, at least at Breckenridge, cost isn't a major deterrent. It's amazing to me that visitors and even locals keep paying it. It's uh, pretty extreme, in my opinion. Cost aside, in the last few weeks, traffic at resorts has seemed to slow. And in Breck, lodging has died down too. Between December and January, bookings were down by about 4,000 rooms. And the trend continues down for the season. I think the reservation system has scared off quite a few uh, local Denver folks, and then visitors are probably apprehensive. But despite the cost and the hit and miss crowds. There's nothing else to do, you know. You're outdoors, it's safe. The Vail Resorts is doing a good job with the masks. I think it's great to be outside and be able to do anything. While lodging numbers are down, CDOT warns that heavy holiday traffic is still expected with the biggest crowds heading eastbound Friday afternoon. In Breckenridge, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.